Hello, Taurus, Sun, Sign, Rising, Signs, and Moons. This is your March Tarot Scoop from me, Kim McGrath, at Expressions of the Universe. And I know a lot of Tauruses really don't like my advice for some reason. I don't know what that is. The stubborn little bulls. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a shot. So anyway, we have a full moon in Virgo on March 9th when, oh, thank goodness, Mercury will go direct. So if you've been going through a rough time, there will be some relief coming very soon. That will be hitting you in the 11th house. So this is telling me that there are friends in your circle that have got to go. There's also going to be new people coming into your social circles, new friends, new excitement. I really like that. Also, if you're clinging on to the hope of, um, you know, certain relationships and friendships that have kind of fizzled out, they got to go. You got to get them out of your mind. Now, the new moon in Aries on uh, March 24th will be hitting your fifth house, which is romance, the pleasures in life, being like a child, acting childlike, also focus on children. Um, this could be, you know, even your fur baby children. Um, also hearing creativity and, you know, just coming up with some better ideas, new ideas, new adventures, but stop being so serious, Taurus. I think that's what the problem is, always so serious. Um, Anyway, I just think that March is going to bring you a breath of fresh air, especially by the third week of March when the sun moves into Aries on March 19th. So relief is on the way. Things were, are going to feel better after the first week. All right, so let's see what the angels have to say. This is positivity, and I love that. Because, you know, some of you bulls and cows, yes, Taurus are female and male. You sometimes, you, you may say or think that you have positive words, but I think some of you do get a little stuck in the mud sometimes. And the positivity card is just asking you when you're positive, you keep directing a stream of high vibrational energy with your thoughts, words, and actions. Your affirmation is, I am positive and strong. So you just have to hold on another week or so before things start to lighten up for you. Um, let's see what your crystal for the month of March is and what that energy is going to be. I guess I was thinking of, you know, one particular bull. Um, and you know what I do love? I love uh, the sarcasm sometimes from the Tauruses because it is keeps me laughing anyway. Oh, this is interesting. So this has come up before and this is hematite and it talks about bringing in the light. So we are doing a lot of shadow work. Uh, during this Mercury retrograde, which will be over on March 9th. But this is talking about repelling negative energy, repelling negative thoughts, negative actions, and allowing your aura to be filled with more light. I happen to always wear a hematite bracelet, or actually one on each wrist, and uh, to repel any negative energy. So that I can maintain my own light. Does it always work? Sometimes, but not always. Um, <laughs> your animal totem for the month. So let's see. Let's see what we have, little bulls. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, I love this. This has been showing up a lot for me. So it's bat, animal spirit, and it says a rebirth is assured, but 
the message that I get from the bat animal totem, and a lot of people are like, oh my God, that's so scary. I don't like that. I don't want that animal totem. The bat talks about, think about it, they use sonar or radar because they don't see very well. And they use this other sense to navigate, get around. So Tauruses that may have found themselves in a situation in which you're unsure how to navigate because maybe it's something brand new, you haven't been there before, you haven't been in the situation before, you want to tap into your other senses, you know, beyond the eyes, um, maybe even beyond the hearing. You want to uh, kind of go about things it's almost like walking around blindly, but you will navigate your way through. This is about tapping into other senses that maybe you don't often use. Maybe you're just a very visual person or an audible person. What's interesting though for Taurus, Taurus is the sign about all of the senses. And I love that the new moon is in your fifth house because it's the pleasure of the senses. So this is a very sensual, very sensual card for the Tauruses. Let me pull this down so you can see those in the light. I think this is about allowing yourself to explore the pleasure of the senses. This is, you know, the taste, the smell, the feel of things, um, luscious music, even beautiful art. So I think that um, the bat, I look at it, it look at it in a positive light, but this also says a rebirth is assured. So for any of the Taurus sun signs, rising signs, and moons that have felt stuck in the mud, you're going to be emerging very, very soon. Um, even uh, I'm hearing, you know, definitely within the next by the by the middle of march but even some of you that may still be going through a roughish time definitely by the time the sun moves into taurus the third week of april so you only have maybe like a little more than a month things will be lightening up for you all right let's see what the planets have to say I think this is pretty good for the Tauruses. I know a lot of you have been waiting on something new to happen, something fresh to happen, new people to come in. And we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And you know what I didn't bring? I thought I brought out a deck for, to see what kind of people would be coming into your lives, but I didn't. So this is interesting. Capricorn card is showing up as the first, the basis of everything. So this would say to me, this Cap, a Capricorn for a Taurus would be perfect, by the way, for those of you that are looking for love. But this is telling me it's time to get to work. Put your nose to the grindstone, get the job done, wrap up any loose ends before your birthday. Um, this could also mean a change in job, a promotion, everything that is related to Capricorns. The underlying issues is, is the moon. And so this is about deception. This is about hidden things. This is also cycles. So I feel as though a dry cycle is about to end. All right, the eighth house, so transformation, changes, rebirth, rebirth, and that goes with all of these cards so far. I love this. Big changes are coming for the Tauruses really over the next seven, eight years. Okay, now Pisces is coming in. This is, ta this is talking about tapping into your artistic side, tapping into your emotions, this is also about being truthful with yourself, speaking, uh, speaking your truth. Um, <laughs> this could also be a Pisces coming into your life, which I kind of really don't recommend for the Tauruses. Um, <laughs> 
All right, what else am I getting from this? Yeah, I don't recommend Pisces for Tauruses because you put water and earth together and it makes mud and you would both be stuck. Now, you could get caught up in the illusion of love or lust, but I think after a while it would be um, very unhealthy, my opinion. Okay. All right. So, yeah, there's... Um... Also, you want to pay attention to what you're unconsciously focusing on. Uh, I'm also feeling with the Pisces and this moon, this is about some of, some of the Tauruses being overly sensitive, allowing your emotions to get away with you. Also, sticking your head in the sand and not facing challenges or, you know, things that have happened. Um, because you feel as though if I don't look at it, if I don't think about it, then it's not there. And that is really no way of dealing with it. Now, the card on top of the Capricorn card is Libra, I balance. Immediately, this says to me, you have to balance your work. And home life your work and fun life out this could also be a Libra coming in um, but I feel as though that a lot of Tauruses have been very out of balance putting their nose to the grindstone and working so much to avoid having to deal with the issues I just spoke about um, and it's just super unhealthy I'm picking up you're you're going to burn yourselves out the underlying uh, situation says Saturn. Saturn is ruled by Capricorn. And this is about rules and regulations, the rules that we put on ourselves. So this is also on top of the moon card. Um, <laughs> what, what rules were instilled to you in the family I'm hearing um, that really just don't make sense to a lot of people or the rules that you impose on yourself uh, you may not even tell the world like oh I have to do things this way that you know like and I have to work this many hours and whatever I think a lot of uh, there's a lot of Tauruses also right now that are having an issue with their age and their upcoming birthday um, and age is just a number, but you need to get up and start moving, moving more, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, the spring and summer is coming. You've got to get out and start moving because if you don't, you'll feel older than you actually are. Okay, now this is crazy. The Capricorn card is coming up again, and it says, I use. It is on top of this eighth house card. So... Oh, excuse me. So here we have that Capricorn energy, whether it be a person or a job or a place. This eighth house card is speaking about real estate, um, our possessions, inheritances. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's Taurus out there uh, with an inheritance, um, the I use card and it's also the number 22 which is often like an afflicted number um, that's what I had channeled a long time ago I use this I'm just hearing like about you being used you using people it's like a really unhealthy relationship but you're being used um, to the bone, if that makes sense to any of you. Or you're being used for a time period, you think you're indispensable, and before you know it, you're no longer employed. So I would say, and with this being in the position here of things that are already established in your life, I am hearing that you really need to make some changes and transformations, especially when it comes to your job and the amount of time that you're spending at your job. Now, on top of the Pisces card, we have Uranus. 
and it says, does that say genius? This is ideas, but I'm also hearing that there are endings coming, changes, and a new path that you'll be on. However, you're allowing your emotions sometimes to get in the way of these really brilliant ideas, and that is hindering, hindering you from moving forward. Or, you know, I'm also hearing now some of the Taurus sun signs, rising signs, and moons come up with these brilliant ideas, and then they don't do anything with them. And you tell all of your friends and everybody about uh, this great idea that you have or the things that you want to do, then you never do anything about it. So, you know, our ideas are great, but if you don't act on them, they're just wishes. And I think that that's what that Pisces is because it's our delusions of grandeur. You know, we dream up this beautiful life, but if you're not doing anything with it, well, then what's the point? You know, you could sit and daydream all day, Taurus, in a field of flowers but if it doesn't get you anywhere or bring you any um, enjoyment, then you're wasting your time being miserable, being stuck somewhere else. All right, so we have emotional loss. And I kept picking that up a lot for Tauruses. This is on top of the Libra card and the Capricorn card the balancing card, and also, um, you know, it's a sense of loss of the self. Uh, also, too, oh, I'm hearing it. The reason why you're working yourselves to the bone, because you are trying not to focus on some big loss that you may have had in 2019. So you're just going to work yourselves to death. And you're just going to focus on that so you don't have to think about the other things in your life. However, the underlying card is coming up and it is triumph. And I really like that. Uh, triumph is showing that you'll, you're going to emerge. I think it's just going to take a little while for the Tauruses because you are so slow to do something unless of course you want it when then you'll jump on it so the awareness card is coming up and this is just telling me first of all it's the magician it's the merlin you can make beautiful combinations but this is also saying be aware of the things in your life that are holding you back from truly enjoying your life and I love this foundation and achievements. So this, some of you Tauruses could be, and everybody's getting this this month, buying a new home, moving to a new home, sprucing it up, spring cleaning is coming. Um, but this is a foundational year for all of us. Uh, you know, over the last six months or so, the foundation has been ripped out from under our feet and now we have to build a new foundation and it needs to be solid and stable more than the one that we've been living off of in the last decade and so this is you know I've been saying this to a lot of my clients um, we have to find the place where we truly belong and we have to build those firm stable and sound foundations right now one your last card for the evening, for the day, for the month. Because <laughs> ah, I forgot. This is for the March Taroscope. And this is from my happy, happy deck. Hopefully it's happy. And this is crazy because it's building blocks. And it goes hand in hand with the foundation card. So it's time for you to build a new foundation to make sure it's solid, it's steady, it's firm. You know, I think like the last decade, we kind of just threw the, our foundations down and, you know, climbing the little mountain, but you know, those foundations crumbled over the last six months. And so we have to build brand new and we're gonna make sure that it's built properly this time. 
So that's all I have for you, Taurus, sun signs, rising signs, and moons. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Show me some love. Comment me. Let me know what you think. If this resonated with you, this will, some of this will resonate with some of you. Take what does. Leave the rest behind. Uh, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, my blog at expressionsoftheuniverse.com. Subscribe. Click the bell so that you get notifications when my other videos come out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in April. If I could turn the video off. And it won't shut off. All right, Mercury Retrograde.